Hi there, um, my name is Stephanie and I have decided to kind of start a vlog. Um, I have two blogs right now. Um, one is newlywednest.wordpress.com and the other is um, chapterofhope.blogspot.com. Um, the Newlywed Nest is kind of my blog for health-related things, um, decor, party planning, and it also filters for my photography company. Um, and the chapter of hope.blogspot is purely the blog that I just started a few days ago um, to kind of document our TTC journey and um, kind of our journey through figuring out whether we have any infertility problems or anything like that. Um, we have been trying to conceive since August, and it's been really difficult um, to get that BFP, um, and we're still waiting. But we are hopeful. Um, we have basically been going through the process to be tested um, just to make sure that there's no infertility factor that's preventing us from um, conceiving. And um, so basically, as I said, we informally started to try to conceive in August of 2012 this year, um, very informally. I mean, we weren't using OPKs, we weren't really doing anything you know, that you are supposed to be doing, I guess. So we really kind of chalk those months, basically like August and September, um, up to like, you know, the beginning stages. Um, then in October, we bought a box of OPKs and kind of started charting that. I started paying a, little, a lot more attention to all of the other factors that can kind of like show you if you're ovulating or not. Um, and in October, I did ovulate twice. Um, I had two LH surges. One was around like the 28th day of my cycle and lasted for about three to four days. And then the other one was like when I was at 37 days. Um, and that lasted a little bit longer. It lasted about five days. Um, I ended up being put on Provera during that cycle. And that was my last cycle that I've had. Um, and then after nine days after taking Provera, my menses started, and so I had a period for like four days, and it was a little bit stranger. I'd heard that um, a lot of people on Provera had really heavy periods, so I was kind of, I guess, expecting that, um, but mine was actually a lot different. You know, it was lighter than it usually was. Um, I did have a little bit more clotting, not to be like TMI, but I figure if you're watching this video, you know all about that. Um, but yeah, so it was, it's been really a crazy ride the last couple months. Um, I don't think, you know, we didn't realize how much we were ready to have a baby until it started to become scary, like, what if we can't, you know? Um, in the beginning of November was when I um, went to the doctor originally, was put on Provera, and then around the 17th I started my period. Um, and then that lasted for about four days. I went back to the doctor after Thanksgiving, the 26th I went back. Um, and she kind of decided, okay, well, you know, with what you're saying your cycles are like, the irregularity, the longevity of them, maybe we should do some testing just to check for infertility. You know, check your husband, do all of that to see. Um, and so we decided to do it. You know, we have good insurance. We decided that, okay, you know, let's do this. Because I felt like something was up, you know, I guess it's women's intuition, and I just felt it, I kind of just knew, you know, um, had my ultrasound, basically, I had my ultrasound first, and in that, the ultrasound tech pointed out that my ovaries looked polycystic, um, that the follicles were really engorged, there was a lot of follicles that were on the lining of my uterus, which is one of, I guess, one of the 
the hints that you might have it. Um, so I was like really freaked out, you know, immediately thought the absolute worst. Um, and, you know, at this point I was having like 40 one day to like 55 day cycles. Um, 55 day was one of my cycles and this had all been in like the past six months. Before that my periods were pretty normal and I think and I'll go into that later, but I think it was because of a diet I was on. I was really healthy before. I've been not being very healthy recently. Um, anyways, sorry, that is my dog, Bella. Be quiet. Be quiet. We're not playing right now. So then I... Um, no, I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> so then we you know went through all the testing my husband got tested um i had the hysteroselpinogram all of that came back normal the only thing that had any cause of concern were the follicles you know the immature eggs in my ovaries i guess i guess that's what you call them. and um these follicles that were being found and engorged you know they were a lot bigger than they should be um went back for my follow up yesterday and um, found out that basically, and I'm trying to understand this myself, so if I'm saying things incorrect, please write that in my comments. You know, like, I have no idea, to be totally honest. Um, I went in there, got so much information, and left, and I feel like I got all that information, but I feel like I'm still kind of confused. Um, but anyway, so the basic thing is that Everything looks normal. My tubes are clear. My uterus is great. My husband's great. Everything's wonderful. The thing is, and this is probably what is, well, it's definitely preventing us from getting pregnant, is the fact that one of, both of my ovaries are polycystic. You know, they both have that abnormality. Um, but one of them, my ovaries has like 10.6 cc which is the minimum amount of volume or the minimum volume that they say is like the cutoff between having a normal ovary and a polycystic ovary now my other one does have these follicles but it's its volume is only like 3.1 so that one's pretty that one's normal um and so that's the good news you know it only takes one so that's really good. Um, and so anyways, we are just hopeful. Um, this cycle, and I'm going to get up and move, so I hope I'm not giving you like motion sickness right now. But I'm stepping through, trying to be really um, careful. But I'm going into my closet right now, so let me just grab this really fast. Okay, I wanted to show you guys this. And so with polycystic ovarian syndrome it's it's pretty common basically for um women to have multiple lh surges and for their lh surges to be produ you know to produce positive opks but for you to not be ovulating you know your egg doesn't drop um because my eggs are basically immature because i'm not going through the ovulation process um and so anyways but last month, what I noticed was that I had, like I said, I had two LH surges. Now, the second of the two, my LH surges were really, really dark and came up really fast. So I figured that was like when I was ovulating, but I only had like a nine-day luteal phase in between that and my menses, and it was really late. Now, this time, I started ovulating, let me say, like the 25th was when I started to get like the really darker line or as dark as the control line. But then today is day 28. And when I woke up and took it, it was really dark, um, like immediately. So, you know, even though when you look at this, that one actually looks not as dark as the one bef the day before and the day before. But um, I kind of am just wondering, you know, if Maybe we, you know, because this month I have been really good about exercising and, you know, trying to keep my insulin, you know, under control. Um, so I don't know, maybe I've kind of, you know, I don't know. You know, I'm just thinking hopefully. Um, but yeah, so let me show you this. Let me see here. 
Okay, so let me see if I can show you this. I don't know. I hope you're seeing this. So basically it's going from like these. This started on 1126. So that was that day that I went to the OBGYN. And you can see the progression and how dark the lines get over here. And then this was this morning is this last one. So you can see that it has gotten darker. So I don't know. Um, I was hoping that this was just going to kind of be an intro video and it would be really short. It's kind of got a lot longer. Um, but basically that's where I'm at now. Um, my videos, I'm going to try to stay on topic. I'm kind of like a person that's all over the place. So, um, yeah. So I figured maybe this way when I have questions or if you're going through this or you went through it and you have some advice for me, oh my gosh, I would love that. And if you have questions, Please, I mean, I'll, I'm learning as I go, so, you know, I, I, I'll try. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so basically right now where I'm at is that, just to break it all down since I've given you so much information, um, basically where I'm at is that one of my ovaries is polycystic, the other one is ugh, sort of 3.1. CC. I got all my bro oh, I forgot to tell this. I got all my blood work done this morning, so I'm waiting on those results. Um, and that should kind of give me more of like my insulin and all that kind of stuff to see if that's if there's anything up with that. Um, my doctor has been very much like when I went yesterday. She was very much like I don't really know whether I want to say you're you have PCOS because you don't fit all the, you know, you, you need to fit at least three criteria. And once I think I explained my cycles more to her, she was more comfortable with saying, okay, at least one of your ovaries is polycystic. And um, so let's just start you in Clomid if that's what you want to do. She was kind of, she was kind of thinking even, you know, maybe we should wait a few months and let you start your diet again and see if that does anything. And I was like, I'm eager, you know, I'm ready to do this. So she's like, well, don't get mad at me if you end up with twins, because I guess that's possible. So, But um, anyways, so we're here. I'm starting Clomid on day five of my next cycle, which should be, I don't know, I'm going to give it until probably day 32 or 33 of this cycle to start taking my Provera, um, just in case maybe, um, you know, we did conceive this cycle I doubt it but who knows so um yeah I'm gonna keep you updated as much as I can I'll try to do a vlog like if not once a week then you know every other day or something you know whenever I get new information I'll try to do a little vlog this one's probably gonna be the longest one just because I'm introducing myself letting you know a little bit about what I'm going through right now um so just bear with me and um Thank you so much for watching and subscribe to, or maybe it's down here, I don't know, but subscribe and go to my blog and, you know, if there's anything in particular that, a story that you have that would be inspiring or encouraging or questions or if you're going through this or anything, just ask. <laughs> have a wonderful night or day whenever you're watching this. Bye.